Welcome to this tutorial where we are gonna review how to print and define license plate layouts using the label layouts functionality. Label layout is one of the methods that is used to build advanced license plate layout compared to the normal document routing layouts. In general, label layouts differ in the document routing layouts in three points. First, the ability to build dynamically data sources based on table relations that could be used as a placeholder while defining the layout. So you could print any information from the available data sources to the label layout. However, in the document routing, we are limited by some specific values. The second point is the layout structure. Using the label layout, you could define the label in a structured way header, body, and footer, so you could print repeated lines in the body section, like for example the work lines, and keep the static values in the header and footer like the work header information. The third point is the custom formatting. In the label layout, you could define custom, date, time, and number formats. Label layout is not that different from the document routing layout in terms of the configurations. So in label layout, we have to configure the data source that has the required tables that are used in the layout. Then we should define the label layout by specifying the ZPL code lines through the label layout form. Finally, we have the document routing that is used to specify which orders are trigger the label printing and the target layout. First, we have to decide whether to use the label layout or the normal document routing layout. I'll navigate to the warehouse management module, set up warehouse management parameters, then in license plate app, we have to enable this option, use label layouts for license plate labels. To define label layout data source, I'll navigate to the warehouse management module, set up document routing, then label layout data source. Here we have to define the data sources and the related information that will be required as a placeholder while building the label layout. I'll create a new one, so I'll click new, I'll give it a code like PO001, description is PO palette. Here in label layout type, I'll select license plate label, then I'll click save. In the edit query, we can apply logical conditions so we can make this query applicable or to retrieve specific records. Here we notice that we have only one table, license plate label. This is the table that contains the license plate information. We can make the data source symbol only for the license plate label table or we can join the license plate table with other tables in our example i need to print some information from the purchase order header on the label layout so i'm gonna build some other joins here i'll click joins i'm gonna join the license plate label with the work table then i'll join the work table with the purchase table first table contains the information that are available on the purchase order header then i'll click ok to define label layout i'll navigate to the warehouse management module set up document routing then label layout first we should specify the label layout type type could be container type license plate label or custom label i'll select license plate label and i'll define a new label layout so i'll click new then i'll give it label layout id like standard po palette same for description standard po palette i'll keep the definition type zpl in the label layout data source i'll select the data source that we just created and i'll keep the enable label template support to no this option is used to enable the advanced layout option that is used to define layout with uh, multiple sections like header, body, and footer. In this layout, I'll keep it simple, so I'll not use this option. Then in the date, time, and number 
format, we can select the preferred format accordingly to the selected language. I'll click save. Here in the printer text layout, we can see that we have the three tables that we have specified in the label layout data source. Indeed, we can add any available field or display method in these tables. Here in the section, I'll paste the ZPL code lines, then I'll click save. Now we can link the label layout with the document routing. I'll navigate to the warehouse management module, set up document routing, then document routing. Document routing configuration with the label layout is pretty much the same like the document routing layout. So first we have to specify the work order type. I'll print purchase order layout, so I'll select here purchase orders. Then we have to define document routing and keep in mind that the document routing that has the lowest sequence number is applied first. Then here in the overview tab, we can make the document routing applicable for specific conditions. So here, this document routing is only applicable for warehouse 50. We can limit it to a specific mobile device user ID, specific vendor account, carrier, work template, or range of zones. We can also apply logical conditions using the edit query. But when it comes to apply the logical conditions using the edit query, we have to enable this option so the query is validated. Otherwise, only the informations that have specified here in the overview tab are validated. Then here in the document routing printers, I'll click new. I'll select the printer that will be used to print the labels. Then here, I'll select the label layout ID. I'll click save. Now let's preview the purchase order receiving labels. I've created this purchase order of one ballot from this item. I'll receive this purchase order using the standard purchase order item receiving menu item. Here I'm generating the license plate automatically and the print label option is enabled. I'll navigate to the warehouse management, mobile application, inbound, purchase order item receiving. I'll scan the purchase order ID, scan the item, then here, the default unit of measure is cases. I'll change it to pallet. Then the quantity is one. So this is one pallet. Okay. Let's navigate to the virtual printer. Here we can see the label. So here we have a barcode for the license plate, item information, quantity and unit of measure, vendor information, customer reference number that is specified in the purchase order header, barcode for the purchase order, and when the license plate has been printed. Using the label templates, we could design labels that have more advanced layouts, which can include header, row, and footer elements. This is an example from Microsoft Docs for a label that shows the work line details. This label has a header section that contains the license plate barcode and body section that contains the work lines. Looking at the ZPL code lines, we must use the elements of header, row, and footer. So here in the header, for example, we have a barcode value for the license plate ID, and this is a constant value on the header. Then in the body section, we have some parameters that control how the body section is printed, like the source table. In this example, the table is WHS work line, which is the work lines table. Then some dimensions that manage where the lines will be printed in the layout. And an important parameter that manage how many lines that should be printed in a single label rows pair label in this example every five work lines will be printed in a single label however the license plate that specified in the header is constant then at the end at the end we have a parameter that control number of copies that should be printed pq1 in this example it's only one label that will be printed however this could be any number for example this could be four if you would like to print label for each side in the ballot
Now let's review the configurations of the scenario. So I'll start from the label layout data source and here I've created a new one for the mixed license plate receiving. Looking here in the edit query here we have a join with the work lines table and I applied a filter to only retrieve the work lines with type pot. Moving to the label layout, I've created a new layout for the mixed license plate receiving. It's very important to enable this option, enable label template support. So the application can understand that this is advanced layout or a layout that contains multiple sections like header, repeated lines and footer. Here I selected the label layout data source that we have created. Then moving to the document routing. Here in document routing, I applied some filter. Considering the fact that the document routing that has the lowest number will be applied first, we need to apply a condition here that the standard PO template is used for the work or license plate that contains single item. How to inform the system that this is single license plate or multiple license plate through a condition here. So here I have a condition that whether the item number is blank or not if the item number is blank then this is mixed license plate so the system will move to the second document routing here in the second document routing for the mixed license plate here i have a condition that item number is blank item number is blank means license plate contains several or multiple items here this is normal document routing the important thing that we must enable this option run query in both document routing so the application can validate the condition in the edit query then here i selected the label layout Moving to the purchase order. Here I've created a purchase order with two lines. I'm going to receive this purchase order using the mixed license plate receiving menu item. Here the print label option is enabled. Let's copy the purchase order ID. Move to the warehouse management mobile application. Inbound mixed license plate PO receiving. Here we have to specify the license plate ID. So let's say this is LP. 01 dash the purchase order number here i'll select the purchase order id scan the first item this item has two cases okay then moving to the second item i'll receive the second item it's only one case then when you finish click license plate complete click ok moving to the virtual printer here we have our label. Applying custom formatting on the label layout could be performed directly from the label layout by specifying the preferred language. In this example, on the left side, a date format is English GB, so we can see the date sequence is day month then year however on the right side the date format is english us so we can see the date format is month day and year so this is pretty much the same as the user preferred date format that specified in the user settings form custom formatting could be applied also on the zpl code lines this is an example of a placeholder that represents a date after the placeholder, you can specify the preferred formatting. So in this layout, the preferred format is day, month, then full year. And this is the result. In this format, the date format is day, month, and only two digits from the year. And this is the result. Here we have some other examples with number formatting. So this is quantity placeholder and here we can see the quantity of one case appears as per the unit of measure. This is the standard formatting number then two decimal precision. We can display only one decimal precision like this 0, 0.0. So here we have only one decimal point. So we can change the number formatting like quantity, weight, volume in this way. When a license plate label is generated, a record is created in the license plate label form, so it could be inquired or reprinted if required. 
I'll navigate to the warehouse management mobile application, inquiries and reports. Here we can see the generated license plate labels. So here we can see the license plate information. If you would like to reprint a license plate, then we should have a mobile device menu item with activity code reprint label. Then in the warehouse management mobile application, we can reprint the label by specifying the license plate ID.